Bonjour et, be et bienvenue au cimetière de Laken. That was my French. C'est terrible, no doubt. So we're in Brussels at Laken Cemetery. And this is Emile Bockstyl, Belgian politician and close friend of King Leopold II. Born 1838, died 1920. And we just actually got off the metro at Bockstyl station. So as well as all these epic monuments and mausoleums I'm here today to check out the crypt which pretty much runs under the whole of this cemetery so all these graves down here the bodies aren't in these tombs they're actually in the crypt below um, it is accessible to the public I just haven't seen the way in yet, we've just got here, but I'm sure we'll find a way. We'll go in this one, look. Famille van der Berg. I wonder why um, this plate's here. So there's loads of sirens going off and um, horns if you can hear it it's because um, there's a building fire nearby that delayed us a little bit as well getting here so apologies for that wonder if this one's open yes Raymond Vaxelaire, Le Baron Vaxelaire. Interesting. JB Lind, what's that say? Lindmans. And that is him. It's one o'clock. We I did plan to get here for half past eight in the morning, but um, our flight last night was delayed, so we got up a bit later than we planned. Family of Suez. Not much else to tell you. Uh, but I can tell you about this next one. This is Louis Soutan. Surgeon to Napoleon's army. You can see in this one, we have an issue with the door. Let's have a look. Looks like the Denek family. So yeah, I have seen pictures of this place online, obviously, so I kind of know what's here. Family Dure. Don't you can see much in there. Oh god, spider fest. Oh, that one's interesting. I wonder what um, this design means. I like how the ivy's growing over it. Limbosch. Interesting. Another open one. This is awesome if you're um, a bit of a weirdo like me that likes going in mausoleums. Look at that. It's a grill in the floor there, look. That'll be um, down to the crypts below where we're going. Just 
wondering what um, stone they use for the monuments in this cemetery because all the um, text is quite worn away on them. It's kind of like, oh well, could these? Eliot, I think. Look at that door. I'm going to try it because it'll probably fall off. Hendrix Yonker. Look at the door on this next one. Awesome, isn't it? JBO. A few panes of glass missing on this one. Pop you guys in at least. Can I look? Can you see anything? The Burns Monument, isn't it? The floor's got a crack in it. MB or BM? Not sure what's going on with all the rubble. Juliette Matin. see anything through there, it's just another slab underneath, down to the crypt. Look at this uh, handsome young chap. See how the stone's really eroded? You can't really read anything from the um, plaque up there. So I don't know what um, what stone this is. It's kind of looks like it's got a layer over it. It's really hard to um, describe. Well, this is good, isn't it? Well, more than good. <laughs> It's like a mother and daughter with her daughter, maybe. Sophie Henrietta Gamer or Gamar. Stunning. I see an open door. Let's check it out. Merits. Oh god. Wow. I didn't expect that. Marie and Delphine. Let's leave her in peace. I always make sure I find I leave places as I find them with the door. The door's open, I'll leave it open. If it's closed and I open it, then I'll make sure it's closed again. Wow, look at this guy. Lieutenant General Storms. Wow. That's a cool name for a um, president. That's a cool name for a general, isn't it? General Storms. If I find anything else on these graves I'm coming across, I'll put it up on the screen to save you googling it. So I've just got to dodge this cemetery worker making all that racket. Um, it does say no filming in the cemetery, so. I don't know if people are cool with it here, and um, I don't really want to get shouted at in French. So I'll pop the camera away and I'll pick it up when I find the entrance to the crypt. Here we go. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god. This 
is straight out of a horror movie. I don't actually know which way to go first. Let's carry on down here for a bit. Renee. There's an old pew here, look. Eighteen seventy seven to nineteen oh four. And a souvenir of regrets. I love finding um, souvenirs like that. De Mulder Allard, husband and wife, probably. Jean Florakas. Which way are we going here? It's pretty much dead end down there. And this one, oh no, this isn't. Little baby on this one, Fanda E. Eden. Can't say that. Another young chap, Derrit. So people probably ask what it smells like down here. Um, it doesn't smell of decaying bodies or anything like that. It's, um, it smells damp and um, mouldy. What's this one? Madame Michelle Orban. Looks like she's got a token for each year of her life there. Oh, this one looks good. Tina, Pavel Devinge, I like the handle. Oh, there's that door lock, it seems miles away, doesn't it? And that photo there. I thought um, some of these might be in good condition, but I guess with it being damp, it does get to them. Well, some of them are like this one, look. When makers, they look like they lived a fine lifestyle. Who's this one? Francis. Looks very educated, doesn't he? Fantastic moustache. Looks like it opens up a bit. Yeah. Some original metalwork decoration. It's nice. Oh yeah, look at this. Flipping heck. So as I was saying before, these crypts here would 
relate to the mausoleums above them. I think that was a dead end. So those mausoleums that we saw above ground they bear the same names as these down here but this is where the bodies are oh this one's got an illustration look about who's placed on what shelf in the crypt I wonder why they bothered to do that Super interesting though. Don't think these are real coffins, it's just uh, made to look like that to give you an idea what it's like inside. Right. Let's head towards that door. in it, I think it's, I think it's like janitor closet maybe, storage. Look at this, probably headless mother and child there. Maybe that's the dad. So this is um, the one with the big green copper doors that we went in. I wonder if this goes through to the um, church that's nearby. We went in that one, didn't we? The one with the plate. Yeah, so I think the church nearby is called Our Ladies. And it was built by King Leopold I to house the Belgium royal family. When this is still actually buried in there now. Um, don't know if it's open today though. We um, went past it, it didn't look very open. I'm not even sure if you can go in. That young lad, 1804. Crazy space to be in. That was a dead end, wasn't it? So let's try our first door. This is the Famille Vaxelair and it contains the bodies of the founder of the Belgian Bon Marche department store, Francois and his sons Georges and Raymond. Oh yes. Oh, 
sword shell, hang on. shelves above him and the floor to the mausoleum up there. So we've got Georges, that's his brother. Oh, another Georges, maybe that's his brother, I can't remember the dates. 1947. And one of them two anyway. <laughs> and there is Francois down there. And nothing underneath him. So plenty more room left for the Vaxilaire family. I'll leave them in peace for now. Let's have a look. This was the is it Van der Berg family. Vanderbergs. Oh, no. And this one, I can't see any name on it. If you pull it, there we go, we are in. Oh, oh it's bricked up, it's just like um, a slab behind it. Oh, he's in another one then. Okay, so we'll just go to the main section again. Try a few more. Looks like it's been closed a while, won't bother. Some of them are all rusted around the edges so you can see there's no chance of them opening. This one. Nope. I think that's pretty much it, just these two left that we haven't tried. So apparently this is the biggest crypt in Northern Europe really surprised do you <laughs> our chain it will open but I don't want to force it I think 
think what I'll do is after I've explored all this I'll go back and we'll do a video trying to open all the doors Look at this. Wanda Sefen? Safen? Like modern hair, cos not it? Skull and crossbones. liquid is on the floor it's not been raining today but there is a maintenance guy watering stuff above look at these two bless them Linchomps very stern lady Oh no, look at that. Into the blackness. Ernest Renard. Look at that dashing chap. This is unreal. Portraits are just pictures into the past, aren't they? It's a bit of a privilege to see them. Look at this, Mr. Cyril de Sedlia. 1922. Adela Thielemans. Might be post humorous that one. These lights must be on the sensor. God, I can't see much in here. Oh, there we go. Do one more lap of this section and then we'll get out of here for now. Madame Coquette. Wouters. Francois. Okay, 
Okay, this isn't the one we came down, is it? This isn't a different one. So that was easy. Sorry, I know I'd like to focus on every photo as well, but this place is huge. And we don't have much time here. We just got literally half a day in Brussels. But I definitely already want to come back. the rest of the cemetery. No, that glass is going to fall out. <laughs> Leave that. So we're now around the back of that statue that we saw before. Can't remember the name of it. Not much in here. So I don't know what part video this is going to be probably part 150 I don't know but we're going to check out this section now and this is the section where there's no crypts below because this is like a resin cross that's cool
constant 1827 to 1886. There's so much to look at, isn't there? Definitely going to come back at some point. Go this way. Some workers down there, so we'll head down here, keep out the way. Oh, I'm knackered now. Broken window. Yeah, I'm getting tired now, so sorry if I um, don't really say that much. this way because I can see quite a lot of um, photos here look at that lady these two Look at this guy, looks quite a um, quite zany haircut for the times. Let's pop through here, excuse me. Not stepping on bodies, don't worry. That's lovely, isn't it, that door? Can you imagine what some of these would cost in today's money to build? Even ones like this. in that one didn't you? Should have gone the other way, I'm going back on myself quite a bit. like autumn doesn't it with all these bits on the floor coffin casket shaped one there yeah I bet this place would be awesome in autumn wouldn't it I think that's when I'll um, try and get back here excuse me full of ivy in there 
Oh, look at this. Another bat. That's only the second one I've seen. The last one was... Oh, God, I can't remember the name of it. But if you've seen my other, one of my other videos, it's... Um, coffin shaped, I think the video is called Vampire Grave Bone tree, probably a bit dangerous so you have to be careful with some of these uh, mausoleums if you're going in because are in a bad state it's not impossible to fall through the floor and I just take a hell of a lot of explaining how you ended up in a vault with bodies especially if you're injured oh, wow look at that it's beautiful people in here. Order maker. Yeah, so I guess some of these are in a bit of a state because let's go up here. There um there's probably no family members left to maintain the graves and mausoleums. This is a good lookout for um, cemetery worker spotting. Oh, look at this one. Wow, look at the colour. Look at the colour of that. Oh, that's incredible. Stained by the copper. This one next door, look. Just love these old doors. I'd have one on my house if I was allowed. that guy over there. Creep. Sorry, he's not a creep. He's creepy. <laughs> it's a big old one here. Not going in. See, when you walk in the mausoleums, you can feel how hollow and weak the floor is. It's not really very supporting if it's old. This is as far as we can go. It's probably a um, recent addition there or a repair. I'm not going to go and have a closer look. I don't want to get caught. There's our mate again. I can't get over this, I just love the colour of it. Look at that. Awesome. Oh, excuse me.
Oh, I'm a bit stuffy after being in that um, crypt. Uh, probably should have worn a mask or something. Thing through that. Let's, let's have a look. A little bit. Oh, look at this section. the plaster work on the wall, what's going on with that? What the hell? Wavy. So this is probably one of the most famous raves in here, just for its design. This is the Pilgrims family. And this depicts Max Pelgrims who died at the age of 24 in the First World War, defending a town not too far from here. It's incredible, isn't it? A couple of children here, probably mourning the parents now this one in certain times of the year I think it's June you can see where the figures pointing who's it for I can't remember the name Everard and apparently this sunlight creates a love heart to where she's pointing somehow um, I'll throw a picture up so you can see what I'm talking about. Wow, look at this. What a beautiful sculpture. Hey, hey, free. <laughs> I'm giving up pronouncing names. But look at that longing for a family voice over time so this is the grave of jeff dylan who was an antiques collector um, he had the foresight to purchase the one of the original cast bronze of the thinker statue by rodin when paris rejected it it's thought to be worth in excess of 10 million dollars and Rodin's own grave features a much later copy. I had no idea on the day, but there you go. If, um, <coughs> I'll go this way. Another sculpture on this one. J. Denny. Just incredible, aren't they? When you think of the hours that must have gone into them. Mind blowing. Okay, let's go check out the chapel because the door's open.
Oh wow. Wow, check this out. These are pretty much life size. Sacred Heart Mary. Giving me slight uh, Wolverine vibes. There's the altar. He's the main man himself with all his fingers. Oh, minus the top part of that one. Is this Mary again? Not too sure. It's just incredible, isn't it? Oh, I stood on someone. Giles Hugh. Can't say that. Cool skull detail though. And some knights by the looks of it. Old doorway. It's going to be all the original paint, isn't it? Font to bless yourself as you come in. Look at all this uh, graffiti. Can't read any of it, like, but uh, that's amazing, isn't it? Old vandals. Can't make out the writing at the top, but I think it says Stal. Uh, actually, we can have a look through here. Look at them. He looks like he's uh, smoking a cigarette or a cigar, maybe. Look at this, the left hand, the right hand column, sorry, he's. Uh, Completely gone. Whole missile. Missile the column. Bad joke, kind of. This is interesting. I'm not seeing uh, this design in here yet. Like a scroll. Can't read who this one's for because it's in foreign. But let's have a look. A bit of glare off the glass, so I'm not sure if you can see anything. There's the back of the chapel. Now which path are we going to take? Uh, let's go this way. Probably go down the wall anyway. Look a beautiful mausoleum here. in a bad way isn't it? A few wreaths on the floor. There's the main man again. Sorry about the um, strimmer noise, these are meant to be relaxing walks. But these things happen. A 
liefste. Strauen, Pierre. It's like a very uh, intelligent man. This one looks like a skeleton, doesn't it? Yep. Can't say that. But I think it's just a really thin woman, isn't it? Not much left in here. Doors. Look, look, it's more of that um, wavy plaster. Guess you can't really repair it, you'd have to um, replace it probably. This guy, a professor, what a character. It's a very macabre looking door, probably not the original. With the aeroplane going over now, a proper YouTuber would go back and um, film all that again, wouldn't they? But um, I'd like you guys to see it as I see it. No gimmicks. And then, um, sure there's too much down there, let's carry on this way. Probably walking past loads of stuff, but unfortunately, I've not got the time to spend all day here. We've not even um, been to the centre of uh, Brussels yet. We've just gone straight to the cemetery. Check this out, this is for Marie Malibran, who is an opera singer. Now, uh, apparently she died in Manchester when she was on tour. Um, she fell off a horse, I believe, in London. And, um, one second, I'll try and get a better view. And uh, yeah, she died from her injuries after her final shows in Manchester that she was determined to perform. So, hats off to someone that um, pretty much died for their art. This door, another cool one. Just fascinated with mausoleum doors. is horrendous. So I'm just looking for, well that's a mess isn't it? For one more mausoleum, I think that's it over there. And it is for a direct 
descendant of the current king of Belgium. Apparently it's near the entrance. Yep, this is it. This is the mausoleum of Jacques Cohen. Now, as well as being a successful banker and merchant, he was the great, great, great grandfather of King Philippe of Belgium, who is the current king. So now we are amongst royalty. How incredible is that? And I think that's the only royalty that's in here. The rest are in the big church over there in the royal crypt. This one looks like a, a wooden altar at the back. Could be. This will be our last one. This is Marie Pliel. She was a concert pianist. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the tour here in Brussels. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Oops. <laughs>